Hello, I opened up Logic Pro X this morning and realized there's been a big update. We're on 10.8 now, and there's a couple of new features, but one in particular stood out, and you might already realize it by the title of this video, but that's the Mastering Assistant. Now, this is nothing new in terms of uh, technology. We already have similar products uh, done by in particular isotope i use a mastering assistant called ozone which is specifically this thing and you just press master assist and there's certain parameters you can set and it will help with your eq overall some dynamics dynamic eq and just some maximizing as well and that's really useful just getting a an initial bearing on it and then tweak little bits and bobs just to bring out your mix a little bit more but this costs it's the standard edition and i think that can be about 100 pounds but this master assist comes free with logic pro x and how you actually access it is on the stereo out which we can see right over here or if we're in the mixer uh, right at the end the stereo out right down there it says mastering click on that and it opens up this little window here now it's actually analyzing my music even though nothing's playing so i'm very intrigued to see if this actually comes out similar to how i set it up before i recorded if it's analyzing the music without playing it which it did so you don't even have to press play for this to work while the other plugin generally you have to play it it kind of analyzes it's playing so it's very interesting i'm intrigued to see if this sounds better of course on or off and if it sounds better than ozone so i've already got this kind of set up how i like it and we do actually see something very similar with the eq uh missing bits up here we have this little spike here for some reason uh but it doesn't seem to dip as much and it's rolling off the bass a little bit well here it's not um interesting we'll have to try this on a different track as well but for now let's hear it with nothing on so i'm just going to turn that off there and just play a little bit of this track i'm working on see how it sounds without anything uh please wear headphones for this quite a basic boring piece of library music but that's how it sounds there now let's put this mastering tool on and see how that sounds definitely improves it. it definitely has an effect on it without me actually doing anything or even have to play it just automatically works it out which is interesting enough now let's stack it up against ozone and i'm intrigued to see if there's a notable difference so let's turn this one off Now, to me, with my headphones and all my experience, the Ozone one sounds slightly cleaner. Everything sounds a little bit more separate. It's subtle. It just sounds a little bit more punchy. It could be because I have tuned it. I have more experience with this. And I really like the dynamic EQ aspect of this, which this one does not have. Another thing to note with this one as well is you can actually change the character of it. But if you have an Intel Mac, you cannot uh, accept 
the clean. If you have an Apple Silicon, you can use valve, punch, or transparent. I, why does that require Apple Silicon? I do not know. This is a beefy laptop, and if it's anything to do with processing, I, I'm a bit at a loss why they've limited me to only just having the clean. It's a little bit annoying, uh, in all honesty, uh, because it can't be hardware. It's obviously software. Um, what's nice about Ozone, of course, because I have the standard edition, uh, I do have multiple ways. There's a vintage option as well, and the intensity I can pick. I have way more options, but this is the standard edition. The Elements has less, of course, um, but something free that comes with Logic Pro X, I can't complain. That is going to hugely improve people's music who maybe don't understand mixing and mastering as much. You just want a quick and easy mix uh, that's built in. And you can reanalyze as well. Um, but overall, I think it actually looks at the entire track and you can excite the dynamics as well. I find it a bit eclipsed, especially with this track. Um, I'm intrigued to see what it does on other tracks. Uh, I'll keep you updated on that, but very, very interesting and a cool step. Will I use it? Ah. I'm old fashioned, I like ozone, <laughs> but it's definitely a feature that's intrigued me and hopefully it can be of use to you. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.